Loads of you have come out with some great suggestions about alternative forms of heat and the popular choice seems to be heat yourself instead of your home. One of the most popular options seems to be an electric blanket. I know a guy that's bought one, I know another couple of people that rave about them and even a little old lady I came across uh, keeps herself wrapped up in one as well. There's a couple of things you need to know about an electric blanket and I'll bring them to you now. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad. Let me know you're okay in the comments below. Well, electric blankets, it seems to be the popular choice, doesn't it? You can wrap yourself up in that and keep toasty. And apparently, they don't cost a lot of money to run. Martin Lewis has uh, put together a guide on his website. Uh, about heating yourself and not your home and there's a little bit of information about electric blankets on there and you can get a cheap one for about 14 quid and he reckons it costs three pence an hour to run so you're looking at about one pound 37 for a whole week uh, if you use it every single day now I found another article with some advice about electric blankets and I'll read it to you now using a low wattage electric blanket can keep your heating costs to a minimum and they use much less energy than furnaces or portable heaters. However, there's always a however, these devices can still increase your monthly electricity bills. So it's important to understand the cost of operating an electric blanket before deciding if using one makes sense for your budget. Once you know the wattage of your blanket and have figured out the different power settings, you can rest assured that using a heated blanket in bed will use much less energy than heating your whole house. Unlike a radiator, electric blankets don't actually get that hot. The hottest they can get to is around 55 degrees. This is because blankets aren't designed to heat up whole rooms. So you can lie on top of a blanket in bed and keep warm while only actually using a tiny amount of energy. It's important to remember that not all electric blankets are equal all forms of electric heating should be equal as efficient as they all convert 100% of the energy they use into heating. But this isn't always true in reality because some devices have features that let you use them more efficiently. Electric blankets are no different, so make sure you look out for blankets that have lots of heat settings, timers and also dual controls. I remember in the old days I had one. It had two settings on and off. It weren't that great. Uh, how to cut the cost of using an electric blanket? Don't crank it up to maximum. Test out all the heat settings, find which one works the best. You know, the lowest setting for the best return, basically. And uh, turn down the thermostat as well. They reckon one degree can save you about 10% on your energy bill, so that's worth knowing. Anyway, let me know any comments. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.